Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. I'm very glad that you are coming back to my channel. I'm very grateful that we're both learning something new. Today, we are going to see a different lab scenario about delegation of control in Active Directory. So this is going to be like a hands-on where I'm going to walk you through how to delegate control for a user or object in your Active Directory. You're going to ask me, Peter, why delegating control? Actually, delegation of control in Active Directory is just a concept where you provide limited administrative rights to a regular user, groups, or computer over an organization unit or Active Directory object. So, for example, let's say you are the only admin in your organization and your organization, ha organization have like a branch in, let's say, in different city. So, and you don't want all the employees to keep calling you and just because they want to reset their password. So, you have somebody, maybe a manager of those store that you can delegate a control and give them the permission to be able to reset the password for the employees. So that will make it easy for you to delegate that kind of control than to have all those employees to keep calling you. So let's quickly dive in. We only have like uh, three tasks to do today. So we're going to create an organization unit. As you already know, we go to Active Directory Users and Computer. So once we are there, what we wanted to do is right click on your domain and do new organization unit. I'm going to call these, um, uh, let's see, AB department. So, and that's it. How do we know that is organization unit? It has an icon right here. So next step is to create a group because the idea of this uh, lab is to have the hand on experience with delegating administrative control in Active Directory. So we create a group. Let's say this group is going to be group of those managers that is going to, let's say, um, that is going to reset the password for employees. So we're going to call it um, what can we call it? AB admins. Let's call it AB admins and click on OK. So where can we find that? We go here and this is our AB admin is a security group. So now let's delegate permission from our newly created organization unit to this AB admin security group. How do we do that? We just right click on AB department, go to delegate control. Remember, we want all the admin managers to be able to reset the password for their employees in a different location because I don't want no one to be calling Peter the admin <laughs> and tell me, oh, reset my password every time. That won't be cool because I might have all the stuff doing, but these are just kind of like a mini trust for that user. So I will go to next and I'm going to add the AB admin that we created. So next and now this is where we can specify what kind of permission we want to give those managers. In my case, I just want them to be able to reset users password. That's it. Next and finish. So how do we know that this is working? Remember, this is a security group. We need to add those admin manage, I mean, those manager inside our security group because we have already delegate permission on the OU. Let's say, for example, on the organization unit and the organization unit are a lot of employees. So, I'm going to quickly create a um, user right here. Let me say, let me call it E P one. 
so ep1 that is employee one employee one is going to stay in this container oh come on peter this always happened to me <laughs> okay that is employee one so this is where all the employees is going to be so we want to have we don't want to have manager in this place we want to have manager appearing in the aid me at ad admin because that is where they we have the right to reset so who can we make the manager let's see let me go ahead and create a, a user right here i mean this manager can actually be in a group it can actually be anywhere the only thing is that you just need to have that secure be added to that security group so that it can perform the action so let me just do m one so that would be manager one and i'm going to do the password again all right i don't want it to change the password so this manager will actually be added to a security group that we call let me go back that we call ab admin how do we do that so i'm gonna add the member the manager one all right so manager one is actually member now let's go ahead and prove this let allow me to log into one of my windows 10 because you don't want this manager to have access to your active directory because they are not trained to to work with active directory you just want them to be able to reset password and as a you know give them little training and they reset password for you actually what i did here i will have done it here because i forget that no let me just cancel because i have uh, an admin right on this one so i wanted to add a remote section desktop settings so so that i can remote connect to this and i'll be able to perform the action let's see what we have desktop actually let's do it this way because the idea is that i want the manager to be able to launch and reset password for user i will go ahead and log in as m1 which is the manager that I have access to that to that security group okay yes so we are logging in as a manager that does not have any training over active directory so let's see how it's going to perform that magic <laughs> so let's wait a little bit so what i've done on this pc is actually in order for this manager to be able to have access to see all of this thing there's something called um a remote hmm let's see it's called our set let me go ahead and bring up uh... come on peter don't forget that don't forget that so is an our set to so an our set to is what i download there which is the remote server administrator to administration to i've actually downloaded on this server that we are seeing right here so i would like you to go ahead and do that also make sure that this child server it's actually a a domain join so once you download it to the server it looks like this admin tool then if you click on this eventually you'll be able to see the same thing that an administrator is saying here 
because of the permission that you have. So there's a better way. Let me go back to the machine. This is the machine. There's a better way to actually block user not to see all of this thing. So you can, we can see there, we see ABD department and we can see the user inside there. So the idea here is for that user, which is M1, the manager one, to be able to reset password for the employee that reside in this organization unit. Let me prove that for you. If you go to user and try to reset a user password that is not actually in this organization, you shouldn't be able to do that. Let's let's try. We will get error message. You see that we get error message because access is denied. Let's now go back to the ABD department that we delegate the control over and reset the password. So we don't have permission to, to check this. So I'm going to uncheck it. So, and I'm going to change password for this user. We should be able to do it. You see that? We just able to do that. So that is how you delegate control for, for a user that you just want to want them to have like limited admin right in your environment. So it works. I'm very happy that we are able to do this proof of test. We have shown each other how to delegate control in the active directory. If you have a question or uh, you wanted to reach out, I'm going to post, I'm going to post underneath this video, the information that I follow to do this lab so you can try it in your own lab also. Thank you so much for your time. I'm very grateful and I hope to see you in my next video. If you find it useful, please like it and share with your friend. Bye bye for now.